How's it going guys? So today's video is something I've wanted to chat about for a little bit. It's more about older, some older tunes actually that people aren't really thinking about Gear 13 and Relicking just because they're older tunes. Um, these guys and these characters I'm going to talk about today, um, they're extremely useful in a lot of different aspects of the game that most people don't really think about and they underestimate them very, very like greatly, really. Um, and these guys I want to chat about, one of them you can see on the screen here, it is TIE Fighter Pilot. This guy is such an old school dude that I remember him being one of my first gear 11s, one of my first gear 12s. This guy is just ridiculously fast. One of the reasons why I liked him so much is because he has the highest base speed in the game. And I'll throw up a little screenshot of it. You guys can see that it is, in fact, the highest base speed. Um, you get like 20 plus speed from these uh, Gear 12 Pluses, and then eight, or you get you get six from these two, and then you get eight from the finisher. And I am I am highly considering getting this guy Gear 13 for ships. Um, I don't really have him, you know, as a huge, huge um, main factor in a, in a GAC or anything like that. I actually kind of do in one of my teams I use versus Grievous, which is, you know, somewhat important because he's fast. Um, it's this team here. I've done videos on it in, in uh, previous uh, videos. It's Emperor Palpatine um, with IPD, TIE, Pi or TIE Fighter Pilot, Bastille Sean, and Darth Nihilus. Um, the ones that I find to be kind of interchangeable are IPD and TIE Fighter. You just need somebody that can apply a lot of debuffs, really, and those two are the ones that I like personally. Personally, you could probably slot in like Death Trooper and probably like um, Tarkin or like a Dooku, maybe like a Sith or Empire that can inflict a lot of debuffs. But outside of just this team, this guy is so important in in my ships personally. And this is the team, and with with him being in my squad for for uh, for fleet, I've been running this guy for over a year plus ever since the. Actually, no, I don't think the Falcon's been out for that long. I mean, it's been around a year. I'll, I'll just I'll just round it up to a year. Uh, I've been using this guy for around a year in my ships pretty much every single day. So, he's gear 12. He's pretty much just two off of gear 13. The why You might be asking, why would I be, why, why would I be considering getting this guy gear 13 um, soon? And the reason being is that also, not only is his character one of the fastest, or if not the fastest in the game, well, his ship is very, very high as well. I'm not too sure if it's the fastest or if it's one of the fastest. I'm almost certain it is one of the fastest. It's going to be close between Poe, this ship, and the TIE Silencer, the, the Kylo Ren and Mask ship. And these guys, all three of them, are all part of what I use in my... In my climbing and I am I don't know what what you consider me for a for a tough fleet shard or not but I feel like I'm in a somewhat um, tough because the the teams I'm fighting are very very high gear a lot of different parts to them I even have some people that are you're they're seeing their their ag bars now just to get their their ag bar faster which is something I never would have thought of but uh this guy is so 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 important when it comes to being in a fleet i mean being able to just get your first turn off and then have the other two that you have there your tight silencer and your poe just come in and just pretty much insta kill any ship you want it is just so important it's so fun to see that this guy is a huge gear 13 investment i think you get a lot of value here personally for what i'm using maybe you guys aren't you know using this guy in your ships maybe you are still using you know those boring metas those those falcons and now the negotiator i still need to do some tests with my negotiator i haven't done it yet but i'm just thinking down the line in in next future metas like let's say that the negotiator with this possible um, and potential malevolence ship comes out what if the what if the negotiator is just not as good anymore versus that and same with the akbar ship it's kind of like the akbar gets countered a little bit by the negotiator and what if the malevolence comes out and it counters the endurance or it counters the negotiator so it's kind of like it's an awkward spot to really invest into any team right now and um i just feel like the tie fighter is a, is just such a such a safe bet guys and what you're getting here is pretty much guaranteed wins on offense every single time for your your fleet um so now i'm gonna actually get some of my mods for my for my climbing here i'm gonna put them on him and we're gonna do a quick battle just to show you guys what i'm talking about so i'm gonna go up against this guy named luke haspa i have no idea when these guys payouts are i only know where two people are my payouts and those are the most important people so outside of those two people i have no idea where any of these guys payouts are but this is the team i'm running here i'll do a video in a few days covering 
this uh, these kind of different variations you can you can use versus these these different teams. There's a variation to use versus the negotiator. There's a variation to use versus um, the the big or the Biston without Houndstooth with with uh, Bigs instead. And there's another variation with Biston and with Houndstooth instead. So with this guy, we're fighting Lucaspa here. One of the most important parts to your TIE Fighter, you want to come over here, you want to place all your 60 mods on just so he gets his first turn, because now you come over to stats, he has 197 speed. Um, so, what you want to do here, you just go in with these main three here, TIE Silencer, Poe, and TIE Fighter. Um, How to is a, is a must-have here. Um, Anakin's nice to have. Um, Phantom's nice to have, and the Ebon Hawk is also, I would say personally, with how I run this team, he's pretty much required um, just to ensure the RNG. So let's get into a battle here, guys. All right, so Akbar with this little comp here. First things first, I've done this in previous videos, always target Han Solo. We got a crit, and he's pretty much dead. So if the if one of those guys didn't crit, let's say Tie Fighter didn't crit there, and Poe came in, well, guess what? Poe has the same amount of you know, crit rating as the TFP, so he could have crit as well. And if he did crit, I would have been able to kill him. If he didn't crit, I would have got a stun on him with TIE Silencer, and then I would have cycled back to Ebon Hawk and then just kill him. Um, so now this is an auto. This is an auto game here. You just put on auto. You kill House. You, you kill the Falcon, and you put on auto. That's just how these ones go. I don't want to show this entire battle just because I just wanted to show this part of how important this this ship is. Um, I will post a video, like I said, soon versus negotiators versus this team here that we fought and versus the Houndstooth variations with Biston. They all pretty much, what I would say personally, they would all auto it um, if my TIE Fighter crits. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know in the, in the in the comments below. With Gear 13 and Relics, would that increase my, my TIE Fighter's ship crit chance? If it does, this is something to look into because with Thrawn, um, his capital ship gives 15% more crit chance as well. So the crit chance on my TIE Fighter here is around 45 to 50%. So he's pretty much, you know, 50 50 in the, the crit chance and, and the crit. So um, now we got, we, we kind of went over the TIE Fighter and his ship and why I think he's one of the most important guys to consider when it comes to ships because this guy can just beat up and destroy a lot of different ships here. So he's one of them to consider, guys. And now let's go over some other of the other parts of the video I wanted to go chat about. Well, that was a quick one. Okay, let's uh, let's go back out here and let's go chat about the other two. So this is another oldie, but a goodie. These are the Triumvirate, guys. The Triumvirate is such a useful team in this game. I mean, when you're chatting about GAC, they are used literally everywhere. I've done a video a while ago chatting about how good these guys are, but I want to do another video on their Gear 13s and their Relics because I find these guys to be extremely important. Um, one of the biggest teams out there right now with, with this counter is the Bugs. And I actually went over a video of how to kind of counter the Trade Scion team, but there still is a point where you can still counter them. And I think Treya and Sion are some of the best two Gear 13s in the game. Personally, with how I how I think GAC runs and works, I think they're some of the two best Gear 13s in the game because of what they can do and who they can beat. Um, their, their HP protection and and the, the extra stats they're going to be getting. So let's just go over to them. So let's go down to Sith. I got my, my Sion done like a couple weeks ago, and he is something that I've loved. I mean, this guy easily 2v5 is really any Bugs team. Um, Gear 13, I fought one recently, still beat it, and it was awesome. I mean, I just love the team. I'm going to Gear 13 Treya in the next couple days. So her Relic and her Mastery gives out more crit avoidance, damage, and accuracy. So the biggest thing here is, of course, you're getting more HP and protection, which is going to be awesome versus the Bugs, and also some more crit avoidance. I don't know the specifics on how much she's going to get, but if it's enough to kind of hit a little bit like like 10%, let's say 10% 10, 10 extra crit avoidance, that's going to give her, um, you know, 85% CA because she's going to have 35% from the arrow here and then also 40% from her leadership. Um, crit avoidance is such a nice thing to have right now and versus some of these other teams like the Bugs, you know, the, the, the uh, Night Sister, stuff like that. The Treya Scion combo, and you can even throw a Nihilus here. Really, really nice, guys. Um, so Treya's is a great one, I think. But if you want to chat about which one you should go for first, I think Sion's going to be the first one you want to get. Um, just because he's like the tank. You, you want to focus on tanks, really, in, in all these kind of considerations. So this guy gets off or armor, health, steal, and protection. Great combos here. Being able to ab absorb as much hits as possible, like let's say in the bug counter, all those big hits, they're going to be coming in. With extra armor and health, he's going to be able to ward off all those hits. I fought a, G or a, a 
Yeah, Gear 13 Spy recently, my GA, he had over 110% crit, crit chance. My Scion has 75% from the CA Arrow and the leadership from Treya. The guy crit me, but it was for only 60k. With my guy and how I modded him, he's at 84,000 HP and his CA down here, as you can see, is 35%. But the armor here is extremely valuable, honestly, because of all those hits he's going to be taking from the bugs. You want to really make sure that he has some extra armor and the Gear 13 really does help out there. And I'm kind of considering getting another defense set instead of uh, another off or another HP set, just so I can ensure that he gets even more defense. Or maybe I can look into some defense um, primaries, or I mean defense uh, uh, percentages, because those are really nice to see. But uh, I just want to chat and wrap up this video saying Darth Zion and Darth Treya are some of the two most versatile tunes in the game and characters in the game. And they are extremely powerful and they're extremely valuable in your GAC, your TWs, all that sort of stuff. I just... I, I would love to to be able to get my Treya here because I would be able to just beat up literally any Bugs team, any Treya, or I mean, I always say Treya, why did I say that? Oh, any uh, any Night Sister team. The one, the one that's kind of left out here a little bit is Darth Nihilus. The only reason why is because I feel like you can 2v5 the Bugs with just Treya and Scion. Nihilus guys kind of left out there. Um, but if you do not see a Bugs team and you see like a really beefy Night Sister team, you could probably use um, these guys versus that. The only reason I don't like Gear 13 Nihilus as much as the other two, I still think it's an okay one, but I would probably save it for like way down the line. Um, so his mastery gives def defense penetration, health steal, and accuracy. Health steal kind of stands out, but it's not going to be enough to really make a huge difference here to me. The extra HP and the protection would be awesome to see, HP ex especially. Um, I just don't think this is a huge one to really look into for Gear 13s, not as much as the other two. So. Yeah, Darth Sion, Darth Treya, huge investments in along with those two, TIE Fighter Pilot, guys. These are my three ones that I am very highly considering getting. I already got Sion, actually, so Darth Treya and TIE Fighter Pilot are two that I am considering getting done soon for how I use them in my, in my climbing and to help ensure I get those crystals and I can, you know, kick some butt in my GAC. So... This might be totally different for you guys and what you guys like running. Maybe you guys are not like me. Maybe you um, already got your Falcon on your and your Akbar teams and your negotiators all up and running and you're just having a good time running those guys. But down the line, I'm just kind of playing it safe with my TIE Fighter because I find this guy and with when, with how I run my, my fleet, they can just stop pretty much any team in the game. So I love them a lot. And I hope you guys can consider some of these as well with how you want to use them in your GACs, maybe your fleet with the TIE Fighter. So if you guys didn't find, if you guys did find this uh, video, you know, informed or informing or uh, what am I talking about? Informative and, uh, and helpful. Um, let me know down below. And maybe you guys are totally like, what the hell are you talking about, Ian? This is, this is stupid. Don't even, don't, don't, don't Q13 those guys. Just let me know because I find them extremely important with how I run them. But um, if you guys enjoyed the video, give a like, share it, and sub to my channel if you guys are new here. We also have a Discord and a Patreon if you guys want to go check out those two things. That's it for me today, though, guys. Have a good one out there, and I'll see you later.